I'll show you how you can get paid writing reviews even if you're a complete beginner, so let's get started. Now I'm actually going to cover a bunch of different strategies. The first one of them would be connecting to Captera.com. This is a website that is literally going to pay you for writing reviews, and I'm not even kidding. What you want to do once you're here is select this option that says write a review, and that will allow you to sign up as a reviewer. As you can spot, you've got over 30,000 different pieces of software to choose from. And most of them are very common. These are very popular apps such as PayPal, Google Drive, Google Docs, Trello, and I'm pretty sure that you have used most of them. But even if you haven't, I'm gonna show you guys how you can write these reviews even if you know nothing about that piece of software. I will make everything effortless. Now take a look at this. Let's just pick one of them at random. Let's say we want to write a review about TeamViewer. Well, the first thing we can do is take a look at what other people have to say about it. We cannot just copy and paste their reviews because they will not get accepted. Captera is very clear about not copying other users. What you're gonna notice is that every review has a very clear structure. There will be an overall opinion, then a breakdown of the pros, the cons, and a few other details as well. That is pretty much what every review consists of, and that's what we need to write as well. Now, in case you want the more clear estimation of your profits, take a look at this. Well guys, according to blocktrover.com, you will receive $5 for your first review, then $10 each for 10 more reviews. That is a total of $105, but I'm afraid that is the most you can make on Captera. After that, the subsequent reviews will not be compensated. So if you're planning on writing your 12th review, that one will not be paid. You're just doing it for free. But even then, this is a very cool, very easy and fast way to make an extra $105 online. And I'm about to walk you through the process. After we are done with that, we can take things to the next level. But in the meantime, let's focus on Captera. You see, the easiest way that you can write these reviews would be by taking some inspiration from other people's notes. And instead of trying to rewrite them yourselves, here's what I would do to save some time. Now, when when it comes to submitting a review, it will be a three-step process. The first one is quite easy, so you don't need my help with that. It is a matter of submitting some basic information just to make sure that you're a real person. And once you're done with that, we can move over to the next one. Now, the second step of the process is quite easy too. This is where you get to rate specific features about that piece of software, such as the overall quality, the ease of use, customer support, features and functionality, and things of that kind. Now, keep in mind that you don't necessarily have to give them a five-star rating. If you actually use that software and there is something that you didn't quite like about it, then you may just leave a four star review or a three star review depending on your experience and as you can see some of them are optional as well but here's the most important part the third step will make it or break it this is where we get to submit our in-depth review we're talking about a title the pros and cons and then the overall experience and so guys if you want to save some time and not necessarily have to write the review yourself perhaps you don't really know much about that software you can just copy something that another user has submitted and then run it through the spin bot this is an automated tool that will basically rephrase your sentences and turn your text into a new one that still conveys the same meaning but it just uses a different wording so let me just copy the new version and then head back over to Captera and paste it in. That's pretty much all you have to do and then it is just about rinsing and repeating but at some point you will run out of paid reviews. Again $105 is the maximum amount you can earn on the website as far as I know, so that's about it. But what if you want to earn more than $100? Well, there is a way you can do it, and it is actually quite fun. But before we move to that, let me give you guys a bonus. If you're still watching the video even at this point, I've got a bonus for you. You're probably watching because you're interested in reviewing software. Well, here's the closest thing to that, reviewing websites. I'm talking about usability tests. If you guys connect to userfield.com, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. What you want to do is click on get paid to test, and this is where the magic happens. You can quite simply become a tester of websites and apps and earn $3 to $30 per test. And when it comes to the requirements here, these are very basic. We're talking about having a Windows or a Mac computer and a microphone. It doesn't have to be a studio one, even a built-in one that your laptop has will work. Alternatively, you can purchase one for $2 and that is just fine. You also do not need any degree, qualifications or superior education. They don't care about that. And as long as you can go through the instructions correctly and deliver some useful high quality feedback, you're good to go. However, guys, keep in mind that taking these tests is not about showing off how good you are and how easily and fast you can complete the tasks. It is about providing some genuinely useful feedback. 
you will basically have to go through a scenario, right? You will be provided with a list of instructions that you have to follow through, and then you can just describe precisely what you are doing as you go through the steps. That's what usability testing is all about. If something doesn't look quite right, if it looks out of place, you can point it out, and that will be very valuable for the developers because they can go ahead and fix it. But again, this was just a bonus. If you want to, you can connect to userfield.com and give it a try. And if you love usability testing, you might also be interested in usertesting.com, which is an identical website. But I don't want to ruin the surprise, so I'm going to let you guys discover its features. But now let's get back to the video. Again, this is all about writing software reviews, right? And once you're done with Captera, what you want to do is go over to YouTube and type in Photoshop review. This may sound like a very random example, but it will make sense in just a second. Chances are this video will show up as the top search result. It's got over one. 1.8 million views. And something very interesting about this channel is that this is not necessarily specialized in reviews at all. You're posting a bunch of content about social media, growing your social media presence, growing your business. They've got a bunch of useful stuff, but it pretty much just saw the opportunity of recording a video review about Photoshop. And that's how they managed to get 1.8 million views. And I can guarantee that boosted their channel a lot. That goes to show that taking advantage of search traffic can be very powerful on YouTube. And Photoshop is just one example. Let's repeat that same experiment with a different tool such as Google Meet. I'm gonna type in Google Meet review and let's see what shows up. This very simple video has generated over half a million views. And it is a short tutorial on how to use Google Meet. And it is not the only one. And it's not an isolated case either. Here's another one, Google Meet versus Zoom, which is better, 277,000 views. And what I'm trying to point at here is that writing a review about a software is just the first step. Instead of keeping it in written form as an article or as a review on a website, what you want to do is turn it into a video. And I know that might be something that you're not entirely comfortable with. Perhaps you're stepping out of your comfort zone too much. But the bottom line is this. What you can do is use that review as the script for your video. On top of it, you can add a bunch of relevant stock footage and screen recording. And you can turn that review into a video that can generate revenue for several months or several years. And we've just seen multiple examples of that. Here's something that most people overlook when it comes to YouTube. You don't necessarily need to record crazy challenges or stupid pranks in order to stand out. The fact of the matter is, apart from being a source of entertainment for a lot of people, YouTube is also a search engine. People are actively connecting to YouTube to search for answers, such as, for instance, they might be interested in watching a review about Google Meet. And if you can answer people's questions, you can make a lot of money. Because not only do these tech review videos get an insanely high RPM, so you can get a lot of money from AdSense alone, but you can also have affiliate links in your description. Think about it this way. Somebody has just watched a review about Google Meet. If you can also add an affiliate link in there and send them over to the website so they can sign up, then you can certainly make some extra cash that way. And to make it even better, this is also scalable and replicable. You've got 30,000 different ideas to choose from on Captera.com alone. That is inspiration for 30,000 different videos. And so guys, if you are willing to put in the work and record these short straight to the point reviews, then the sky is the limit. You will never run out of ideas. People are searching for these topics on a daily basis. They are looking for reference. They are looking for a second opinion. And if you can be the one to put out that content, then making money is not going to be a problem. However, I do understand that some of you want to keep things simple. So if that's the case, you've still got the review writing option on Captera that will pay you $105 in total. But if you're a high achiever and you want to take things one step further, I would highly recommend that you at least consider creating a YouTube channel that is centered around tech reviews. But that's it for now, and thanks for watching.